Hello there, and welcome to our episode two, season three, The Boys Review of the Only Man in the Sky. I wonder who that's referring to. I think Jesus. <laughs> yes. Homelander did compare himself to Jesus. And God. And God. Joining me, as always, the Sith Holocron, Naomi. You didn't ask how I was doing today, so I was waiting for you to say <laughs> something. <laughs> I, you're right, I didn't. And it is I, the Jedi Holocron, Tyler. Dude, how you doing to get today, Jedi Holocron? I'm doing pretty good. You went off script. I just asked myself and said how I'm doing. We need to go to commercial. Commercial break. Hell, here at Vault Enterprises. A reference to the episode. Yeah. I was going to try to do a Vault commercial off the top of my head. That probably wouldn't have went well. No. Nothing off the top we're of not, my head goes well. We're not creative enough for no, that. No, definitely not. That's why we started a YouTube channel. We're definitely not as creative as the boys. You know, like <laughs> the, the amusement park. Oh my god. All the weird ass. <laughs> my favorite is the LGB turkey legs. <laughs> so I'm a turkey then. There you go. In that lineup. Yeah. The LGB turkey. I'm the turkey. <laughs> Let it be known. Confirmed. I am a turkey. Okay. That and a tomato. Because that's the other version of it. Yeah. What was the other other the, the BLM BLTs? BLT, yeah. <laughs> Imagine taking like it's just so funny if like make amusement park amusement parkifying like social like it's so gross. Stuff. Yeah, it is so gross. And the only people that can get away with it is the boys because they're memeing on it. Yeah, well, yeah, because so they're good. making fun of like yeah. that like sort. Of, what's the word? What's the word for that? Culture? No. No, like um. Like Disney does it a lot. Um, the like the fake shit. Like the, yeah, we're like you. You try to parade how like yeah great you or how like inclusive and stuff you are when really you're not. Yeah. What is that? Virtue Grand, signaling. Big virtue sig. There we go. Yeah. Because that's clearly what it is in the boys. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. not meant to. It's meant to be like look at these fucking assholes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're virtue signaling. Yeah. The one thing I did like the most about the music park is it was like. It was just funny. Everything was funny and a good joke, but like also like we're like, oh, payback was actually part of what like, they don't. They yeah. really don't focus on the other soups other than the seven. So it was cool to see that, like how they're integrated, and also like you could tell they're not important because that lady who's from Payback yeah. is just doing shows in an amusement park in, as her day job. Used to be a superhero. Yeah. Well, I have to assume that group broke up after Soldier Boy died. Yeah, probably that makes sense. They kind oh yeah, because fucking. Gunpowder's doing his NRA, VRA, his, his, um... Just became a hardcore Trumper. His, um, my, my rots, my guns kind of guy. Oop. I was yelling at you to mute your Discord, and I did not mute mine. Wow. Wow. You know how it is. I feel like this season's been, like, way more political. Oh, yeah. it's Thinking it's make, it. It's because... It's not like it's political. It's that it's just making fun of what our culture is it, uh, currently is. Yeah. Like, the... What is happening. So, yeah. The hardcore racists, the, the gun nut truppers, the yeah. virtue signaling Disney. No, because that's, like, Homelander's, like, trajectory this season. He's just going to become, like, the Trump He's of He's just going to become Trump, yeah. Yeah. Well, we clearly already saw that Stormfront had become a little bit of a, a little bit of a 4chan legend. Yeah. <laughs> what are they called? The Storm Chasers? Storm Chasers. <laughs> that, they're so good at, like, naming this shit. Like, like the, the Deep's book or whatever, the movie in the Deeper. beginning. <laughs> no, not that. The movie from the, remember the beginning? Like, oh, it, not without my dolphin. Not without my dolphin. I'm like, the fuck is... I hope shit. we get a scene... Because I feel like the dolphin scene is probably still my favorite one of my favorites or he, from like season one or season two was it season two when they drive into the whale or whatever no when he has like the dolphin and he's talking with it and then it flies through the, <laughs> the windshield oh yeah i think it's season one yeah yeah and then they had the whale season two was was a similar thing so yeah i hope we get another one this season yeah hopefully that kind but, of gag no because there is there wasn't the trailer of him like fucking someone but just staring at the fish in the fish tank <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny yeah so what do you think about the only man in the sky it was good uh the the boys are getting back together 
Kumiko continues to be the most adorable. I, I love Kumiko, yeah. I don't... See, it, I, it was and I so... I feel so bad for her after what happened, because now she feels like it's her fault. Season two was so long ago that I didn't exist yet. Was it that long ago? Yeah. Are you sure? I'm pretty positive. I thought it was right when I existed. It was right around that, because I remember we were watching it when our friend was with their ex. Mmm... Okay, because yeah, I don't remember season two very well, but I don't remember Kamiko being this adorable. Yeah, and like innocent. Yeah, no. It, it's and I like that a yeah. lot. Yeah. Yeah, I feel really bad for her. Yeah. Even though it, that fuck that was fucking brutal though, I loved it. Though. That surprised the shit out of me because I did not think that that was a person. Yeah, that it's she like had. A, it's just like at Disney World how they have like there's people in those mascot outfits, you know. Yeah, but he like wasn't moving. Yeah, <laughs> so I thought it was like a statue, and then just blood rained down. I was like, yeah. what the fuck? Right. Also, how did how did the Countess think that that was gonna go well? I don't know. <laughs> did she just expect Kamiko and Frenchie to just sit there and get hit? Yeah. Well, I guess she's she's fucked. not very smart. Like she has superpowers in her day job is she's telling stories about a sing. She sings about chimps not crying. Like <laughs> she is very. She's not the brightest. I mean, it is kind of an interesting fact if that's a real fact. And I assume it is. But it's weird. To, it's not a good to song. Make though. that your whole like yeah. Thing. Like her whole dressing room was just full of chimps. Yeah, it was weird. I mean, everybody has their thing. Yeah. Maybe she snapped after Soldier Boy died. You know how Vought treats people. Mm-hmm. I'm, yes. I'm surprised that anyone's still sane. Right. Starlight's only sane because she has people in her life. Mm-hmm. She has a support system. Yeah. Everybody else has kind of <laughs> kind of lost it a little bit. Yeah. You want to know what... <laughs> what are you going to say? Go ahead. Can I just say that Homelander just fat shaming a <laughs> When A Train looks exactly the same, yeah, he like he's burning calories, like he's a runner, like yeah, yeah, and he doesn't look fatter. No, he does not look like he's gained weight at all. No, and all that are just calling him fat. <laughs> I don't know why that is like so funny to me. That's a fun, fun recurring like thing. Because it's not a form of bullying I expected Homelander to do, right? Especially to someone who's not really fat. Yeah. <laughs> It's, it, you know, yeah, it's one of those things where you know only, like, the top bully can get away with, because it makes no sense, but everyone's too afraid to mention that. Yeah. Let's be honest, though. Like, A-Train kind of deserves it. Well, yeah, he's a piece of shit. Like, remember when he's like, I need a rebrand, he's like, slave trader video <laughs> game. Like, what? It's so funny, because that, the, like... I at least sort of got what he was going for at the beginning of the yeah, presentation. Yeah, like, yeah, the beginning makes sense, like... Like, hey, we need the up... You know, we just had a Nazi problem, let's up our, our representation and yeah. stuff like that. But then he went into slave trading VR. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and also, like the other guy said, he doesn't give a shit. Yeah. But also, Vought doesn't give a shit about anything, so... Yeah. Honestly, I'm more surprised that Vought hasn't already made him do stuff like that, outside of the slave trading VR. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How he thought that was a good idea. Right. But it's like, when he does in his outfit at the end, they seem pretty upset. Yeah. Even though outfit, still not good, but better? Neither of his outfits are very good. Yeah, his outfits aren't very good. In my opinion. But maybe yeah. that's just because I fucking hate A-Train. Yeah. Killed Huey's girlfriend. Yeah. And was a dick about it. Was a fucking cunt. You wonder what, honestly though, my highlight of this season has been, I think, my favorite storyline other than obviously like the boys getting back together like they're all collision course and speak like, up a little like the collision course are all coming together mm-hmm. has been mother's milk yeah he's had the best story because like we find out about the thing with his like it's just him like trying to like be a dad yeah. has been really good and like he's like probably my favorite character this season right now like i love like just like dealing with his wife dating a guy who at this episode appeared to be a very Homelander stand, like, the way he was looking at Homelander at the end of the speech, scares me for the safety of his daughter going forward, but just, like, and then, like, the history with his dad with Soldier Boy, I'm, like, fascinated by now. Like, yeah. But it's, like, apparently, like, it seems like he died because of Soldier Boy, but we don't really know why or what, but it haunts him, and, like, it really fucked him up, so. Well, my, my, my theory, theory, he said his dad died at, a, at like, the table 
obsessed with assumedly Soldier Boy. So I think Maybe. the news articles about like the carjacker that got roughed up by mm-hmm. Soldier Boy was Mother's Milk. Wait, you think Mother Milk was the carjacker? Yeah. When he was like a kid, mm. like a teenager. But what I does that have to do got, with the... Uh... Well, because then his dad became obsessed with it. Oh, yeah. Like trying to get vengeance on this motherfucker. Oh, okay. That's interesting. That's yeah. my theory. See, so maybe his dad didn't die at the hands of Soldier Boy. This he, Mother's Milk said his dad died at the desk obsessing over a man. Yeah. Obsessing over and a it, dead man while his two living kids were around. Yeah. And he's trying to f- not do that, be the same. Mm hmm. So, like, my. That's at least my theory. That's what yeah. I got from it that so far. That makes sense, though. It's either it's, it's either clear. it's either mother's milk or like someone else that's related to them that got roughed up. Yeah, I don't think it was his dad. Yeah, at least the way he made it sound. Yeah, I don't know. I'm interested. Like when Maybe we that's get how the his full mom story, died. Maybe that make I can see that. Or like a third sibling. It had to be yeah, someone unrelated to those two. Like not unrelated, but someone who's not those two. In the someone family. related to someone that. very important. To it, it could be the mom or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it just said for being too brutal. They didn't say killed anybody. Who? The newspaper articles that Mother's Milk had. It just said uh, Soldier Boy, like, accused of brutality. Yeah, it, they could probably cover that up, though. Like, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, especially, like, against, like, a family of color in that time. They were trying to hide it. Like, yeah. especially Soldier Boy. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, that's Very my favorite true. story. I really hope they've... I yeah. really hope you can find his peace from it. I know really, he's gonna go back. I really love the moment when his ex-wife is just like, "You got to do this." Yeah, like she's finally sweet. accepted. Yeah, it. she's like, "I, I, I can't be with you, but like, it's hurting you too much." Yeah, yeah like you got to be you though. Like, that yeah. was really sweet. I liked that yeah. a lot. I also like Butcher giving his daughter the little, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the little bot toys and the. I love how Butcher talks to everyone. Butcher's the best. He's just, literally the best. Just the way he talks to everyone. Like, yeah. when he starts swearing, he's like, oh, sorry, love. Yeah. <laughs> the number of, like, between him and Homelander this episode, the number of fucking zingers. Like, <laughs> like the, 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 the like, in the bathroom with the NRA, not the NRA, VRA with gunpowder. Um, like, the, um, about Homelander, about... What the fuck his name is? Um, Soldier Boy. Soldier Boy molesting him, or like the way he said it was just like so fucking funny. His his professional gobsnobber, or whatever yeah. gobslobber, or whatever and, the fuck he said. And then the one that Homelander said to Starlight about like the chorizo, whatever, like <laughs> used to come on your chorizo. Yeah, or like pecan. Like, I'm like, oh my god, these are brutal. Yeah, they got some fucking sting. The show's so fucking good. I love this show. They're really good at writing insults like that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I really like I I gunpowder was so fucking hilarious to me. Yeah. Like when Butcher went through the metal detector and was like, "Oh, sorry." And he pulled out his gun and they're just like, "Good piece, man." <laughs> why have a metal detector? Right, we're here at a gun rally. Well, like why have a metal detector when you're just going to let them keep the gun on them? Yeah, what like what are you trying to stop from being there? Like what more are you trying to stop? Yeah. That, that's what made it so fucking funny to me. And then just, like, obviously the whole rally just being, like... Yeah. Exactly what you would expect. Yeah. With him talking about the left-wing socialism. <laughs> <laughs> fucking psychotic. Yeah, it's oh. so good. Let's talk about the big reveal of this episode. Stan Edgar and Nadia, also known as Newman, or whatever the... Vicky, whatever her name is. Also known as the Head Popper. Yeah, the Head Popper. As called her. <laughs> It, like, they have, like, that's, like, kind of his, like, surrogate daughter in a weird way. Yeah. And, like, they, so Vought, like, he's, a, she's an agent of Vought. I, I kind of, I kind of want it to be, like, actually, like, a genuinely healthy relationship between Stan and her. I feel like they do have a good relationship. But it could also be he's been manipulated. Yeah, her. he seems very manipulative. Whatever. But I want it to be like a really genuine like father daughter relationship because I think that'd be really cool. Yeah. To have like you know Stan has these levels you know he's not a piece of shit dad. Mm-hmm. I would like that a lot. But I feel like she's been like <laughs> essentially groomed into this position. Yeah. But it's like last episode in the review we were like wonder what her like objective is like is she like a or, so yeah she's just an agent of all it all comes and maybe back we, to them maybe we could have guessed that if we like rewatched the finale of season two 
Yeah, thought about it more, but like... Because it's been a while. Yeah. But it was as to be expected. Yeah. They have their hands in everything. They're controlling, like... Every, they're trying to, they have control of everything except the oh. boys, and that was a way for them to control the boys. Yeah. Like, they had, like... <laughs> I really like the... The orphanage. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the lady is just like, you should survive. <laughs> I love how she used like I'm like why is it I'm like interesting they just cast a lady with a broken leg as a nursing home thing and I'm like oh it makes sense now like the kids broke her leg the kids fucked her up yeah and like I love when he was just like yeah we got a kid now <laughs> you couldn't have been like oh we'll think about it yeah you had to sign up and be like oh we're getting a kid yeah Huey's kind of been like fucking up big time this season I'm not happy with him. He's not handling his relationship with Starlight well. No, he's, he's not. He's way too... I I sympathize a bit more now that he had his moment of just, like, feeling so inept. Yeah, I get it, though. Like, I get why he is the way... Because, like you were saying, like, he finally thought he hadn't fucked up and, like, was doing this the right way and he... It fu- he's like, and he fucked up. Yeah, I get, I get that way of thinking. Like, I get why he's there. Yeah, but he hasn't been handling his relationship well at all. No. Admittedly, like we, like I just said, he has been under a lot of stress. Yeah. But still, my boy needs to get a little bit better. Yeah. I love his talk with Butcher on the phone. Yeah. He sees that Butcher's finally ready to give up, and like I feel like there's that little moment where he was like, "Fuck, I gotta break this for him." Yeah. Letting him be free, fly, little Butcher, fly, fly, little canary. Yes, and then that leads to Butcher taking the uh, the, the V twenty four twenty four and becoming Homelander. Yes, I really hope I really want to see someone else take it and let them get different powers. Like we were talking about last episode, I really yeah. hope that happens. I'm sure it will. I'm sure it's not all Homelander. Yeah, set. I want. Do you think when he goes to that fight, he knows what his powers are, or does he like just walk in and thinking he can take a bullet? Well, because like. I feel like pretty much every hero can regenerate, right? Isn't that like... Yeah, a, that's like kind of a thing that we've seen a lot with But they're a lot not like bulletproof. I mean, Translucent was bulletproof. Yeah, but that was because of the way his skin was. Yeah, but like, I feel like all of them have like an extra level of durability. Yeah. Like, I don't think there's a single one of them so far that hasn't had some like absurd durability level. But like, okay, could Homelander get cut in half by lasers like his eyes? I don't know. Yeah. Maybe maybe Ryan's lasers, because they seemed pretty yoked. Mm-hmm. I don't think Butcher's lasers would be quite strong enough. I don't know. We don't yeah. know really how durable Homelander is, because yeah. no one's been able to go toe-to-toe with him. True, yeah. So we don't really know even the extent of his power. No, not at all, yeah. Which, to be fair, most characters, we don't know the extent of their power. Because yeah. fights are typically pretty damn short. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm getting uncomfortable in this chair. <laughs> it's been like ten minutes, and you're already like, I can't do the chair anymore. I I know. All aboard the struggle bus for you. I'm breaking apart, man. Yeah, you you've been struggling the past week. Yeah, it's been the struggle bus times. But yeah, any other thoughts? Anything? What have we not covered yet? Oh, we got covered at the end, of course. Homelander. But yeah, Homelander just. Breaking down. I you knew it was gonna happen. A little surprised it happened already, but the dude in the crowd is so funny. Hey, your Nazi died. Oh yeah, we gotta talk about her dying too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and the fact that he made a girl commit suicide. Oh my god, that I as what I love that scene. Because it's so dark and it's brutal. So and fucked up. The moment that happened, I'm like, oh no, nope, it's over for her. Yeah, the moment Homelander was on the roof with her, mm-hmm. it was over. It's weird because, like, if Homelander wasn't psychotic, like, for real, like, that would be an interesting way to handle that, like, because, like, the moment he's like, you gotta do it, she's like, no, I don't wanna do it anymore. Like, I wonder if that would work, like, if he wasn't actually gonna make her kill herself as, like, a tactic to get people off the ledge. I wouldn't count on I it. I wouldn't do it because it could, f- obviously, a lot of risk. But, like, be like, you gotta do this now, and then she's like, like, I wonder if that, like, you know... I don't think that would normally work. No, probably not. But <laughs> just want to clarify for anyone listening. Don't try that. No, yeah. But 
Just gotta give the disclaimer. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, no. I'm not talking about you. I'm no just... one listening to this video is handle is 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 qualified to handle I'm... somebody talking someone down anyway. First of all, you don't know that. Second no, of all, I just want They're to listening clarify. To us. Just like to be very clear. Yeah, and then his whole uh, his whole rant at the end. Yeah. <laughs> I like when he he reverses the line that he normally has. You're not the real heroes. Yeah. I am. <laughs> No, no, you're... Because yeah, it's, it's, that's what he always says. Yeah. That's like his thing. Yeah, it's his, that's his line. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he went, went on the roof. I love when he was like, you don't want to go to hell forever. I'm Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, that was a fucking good episode. It's so funny how he just keeps comparing himself to Jesus. I mean, like, he was born, like, he, like... The way he was born, like, makes him think that, that to makes baby. sense. Yeah, like, I if you think... were born like that and you had those powers, you'd be like... I mean, Jesus wasn't a test tube baby. He was Anakin. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of the, like, the, the force, the test tube, just coming out of nowhere, it's all the same. From nothing. I mean, a little different. A little. Like, Anakin and Jesus had a mom. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so, home, what you're saying is Homelander is better? Was he just has no parents? No, I'm saying, and he exists? No, I'm saying that he's more removed. Yeah. He doesn't have anything. Makes him more of a god. Makes him more <laughs> of a... Well, it makes him... You know, he didn't have any caring people in his life. Yes. I, mentioned this I wonder before, why he's fucked up. I mentioned this before we started recording. Mm -hmm. Why did the scientists think it was a good idea to raise Homelander in captivity? Uh, because they're not... Scientists aren't are intellectuals, not caring people, so they don't think about well, no, the but, nurture they need. To actually, there's like the science of it. How we're always trying to make a person, but like there have been studies on like what happens when people have no like. They thought it'd be different with the soup. Why They're, would and why would because you, they have egos? But why would you risk that with the strongest one? I mean, did they know he was gonna be the strongest one? I'm sure a couple years in. Yeah. A couple years in when they realized, oh, this guy's a fucking monster. I mean, like, a couple years. It's like, a couple years of not having nurturing is so fucking. Yes, but, like, up. I don't know. I feel like they could have tried. <laughs> yeah, they could have, but... Also, it, I feel like either way it would have been more advantageous to, like, have him be raised by, like, one of the scientists or whatever, and they just, like, essentially make sure he's loyal, like, raise him to believe in thought and stuff. Yeah. Here. Do like what they did with fucking Nadia. <laughs> but they really didn't do anything with Nadia. Yeah, they raised her like a normal person, and now she's loyal. Well, she didn't get raised by them. By the time she came into Vought, she was already like, but she got a, an adult. But almost. she got care. Yeah, by the by, Red whatever city or whatever, not by Vought. No, she got care from Stan. Yeah, I'm saying that they should have cared about him. Well, yeah, Show but... him some level of human affection Remember, so... instead of trying to gaslight him all the time. No. See, okay, here's a perfect example. Like, we, I just showed you in the last month Stranger Things. It's yes. just like what they do with Eleven. They don't like scientists. Just don't yes. like. There's like no, not a single person even comprehends the fact that oh, maybe these people need care, so they actually. That just seems weird to me because there have been like studies on that, and also it's so obvious. Yeah, it should be more obvious in the case of the boys, because it takes place in modern times compared to nineteen eighties and Stranger Things. Where, but still, where mental health didn't exist. Yeah, but still, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm just saying. It it just seems stupid. The scientists were dumb. They're not beings of emotion, so they wouldn't... But I do agree, it they, would, they have their egos, that's what it yeah. was. Like, I'm not saying that it's like a plot hole or anything, I'm just saying that no. it's really annoying. Yeah. Like, you could have... That's how you know they're not good scientists, because they can't... They, they, they Like, they can do the science stuff, but they... They didn't think. They're, 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 whatever they get out of the science just gets fucked up, because they don't treat it right. They didn't think long term. Yeah, no. They just wanted to create a god, they didn't think about the long term repercussions of what they would do to him. Yeah. And now they're going to have to deal with the repercussions <laughs> of that. Yes, for a very long time. So yeah, that was the review of Season 2, Episode 2 of The Boys. Season 3, Episode season 2. Season 3, Episode 2, The Only Man in the Sky. 
great episode. I'm excited for the next one. Yeah. Like, subscribe, share, comment below. Tell us your favorite one-liner of this episode in the comments. And until next time, have a diabolical day.